What's up guys, we are to keep with another Marvel Strike Force video and uh, in this video we are going to talk about uh, Apocalypse, yes of course we are back to talk about Apocalypse and uh, as it seems I was right, of course I was right, two months ago I said that Apocalypse was going to be garbage and here we are two months after and Apocalypse is garbage but it's not only garbage, it's actually beyond garbage and I want to show you why I just found so many bugs, let's say that, bugs that make Apocalypse even worse than we get as a first impression. But maybe I'm wrong, maybe my brain is not working properly, I'm not feeling very well. So maybe my brain is not working properly. So we are going to take a look at a few matches of Apocalypse in action in Arena and then I'm going to point out what exactly is not working properly and you guys let me know in the comments below if uh, you think I'm correct and uh, that uh, yes these things are definitely not working well uh, and uh, throughout the year no one actually tested out Apocalypse in game or maybe no, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm just hallucinating because like I said I've not been feeling, feeling very well because yesterday and the day before were very long and a lot of work going on in the background. What I'm going to ask you is to make sure you check out the channel because whenever I upload the videos very late at night for me, YouTube doesn't like to promote them, so make sure you check out the channel to see if there are any new videos or turn on the bell. And uh, yeah, so we're going to take a look at this video of Apocalypse in Action. Make sure you pay attention so you can understand exactly what's going on and then we'll figure out at the end of the video what the hell is going on and uh, <laughs> if Apocalypse is even worse than we were expecting. So as always, if you like the information on these videos, make sure you share it with your friends on Facebook and Discord. If you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe for more Marvel Strike Force content and make sure you smash that like button like a boss. Okay, so let's get started. Let's take a look at Apocalypse in action in Arena. Okay, so we are going to take a look at our first match and uh, we're going to see a few things that we should have into consideration related with Red Hulk and Apocalypse. So, when Red Hulk is together with Apocalypse, you go down to his passive and at the end of this character's turn, if Apocalypse is an ally, gain one charge. So, we're going to see if... Uh, Red Hulk is getting more charges or not. So he got one charge from being attacked by 2099. That's fine. Now you have to use the basic attack because, of course, the enemy has Spider Weaver and it's Spider Man 2099 and reality got destroyed. So two charges on Red Hulk, three charges on Red Hulk. So you should get the four red charges. Let me take a look at that. Okay, so you got the charge. So now something else we should take a look at is that. Uh, when Red Hulk has charges, he gains 20% chance of uh, countering attack the enemy. So, we have a few attacks going on, no counter so far, but some of, this uh, some of these attacks cannot be countered and that's fine. Now, this attack from Spider-Man 2099, let's put this on pause, let's take a look at msf.gg, that was the special of Spider-Man 2099. And when you take a look at the special, the attack is unavoidable and the attack cannot be blocked, but uh, Red Hulk did not uh, counter attack. And uh, as we speak, as we speak now, we also have uh, Spider Weaver doing her special. And if you take a look at the Spider Weaver special, this attack is unavoidable, this attack uh, cannot be blocked, but if you counter attack, uh, it stops the chain. And this was something that was happening in the past. Red Hulk was a great counter against Spider Weaver because whenever she would do her special, you'd be able to counter attack her and stop doing the attack. It's not the case anymore. I'm not exactly sure why, but whenever Apocalypse is together with Red Hulk, the counter, uh, the counter attack chance from Red Hulk's passive never works. And you can also see that uh, he's taking full damage is not blocking anything, that's fine I guess, the, the spider, spider Weaver attack could not be blocked anyway, but you can see that our team is getting destroyed, so here we go, big ultimate on the enemies, and uh, 
Uh, Apocalypse still didn't do anything. Apocalypse still didn't do anything. He did his special, give the defense up and safeguard, but it's only for one turn. Like this one turn, it doesn't mean jack shit. Okay, so our team is getting destroyed. We might be able to win just because of uh, Red Hulk. Uh, Gamma radiation effect. I'm not even sure if it's going to be the case or not. And uh, we have uh, Spider Weaver killing Rogue because why not? Now Spider Weaver also kills Red Hulk. Why not? And we have Morgan Le Fay with the uh, Apocalypse. Let's see if you're going to be able to still win. It's looking amazing. It's looking amazing so far. So I'm going to try to spread those bleeds and try to catch the. The Morgan of Fay. I'm not even sure if Morgan of Fay is also getting turn meter. Let's push this a little bit back. I'm actually interested in that. If she is still getting the turn meter whenever the enemies attack. So let me see. Let's pay attention to that now. Okay, so she's still getting the turn meter. I, I'm just wondering because there are so many things that are not working properly here that uh, is just unbelievable. Okay, so I think we are done here. I think I'm going to be able to win. But the point I wanted to make is that uh, Red Hulk is gaining charges at the end of this turn. That's great. But is not being able to do any kind of counterattacks. It doesn't matter the source of the attack. is not able to do counterattacks anymore, even if he has five charges. So this is the first bug I want to mention with the Red Hulk and the Apocalypse on the field is that, once again, Red Hulk with five charges is not able to counterattack the enemy. So let's take a look at the next bug that I found with Apocalypse. Okay, so let's take a look at this next bug. And this time, instead of using the Full Horseman team, we are going to use Kang. 2099, Spider Weaver, and Emma Frost. So because we have Kang on the field, we should have speed advantage. And uh, that should allow our Spider Weaver to go before the enemy Spider Weaver. So that's something very, very interesting. So we do the ultimate with Spider-Man 2099. There, 2099 does the same. And then, uh, whoa! What the hell was that? So we have Kang on the field. We have Kang on the field and their Spider-Man 2019, their Spider-Weaver went first. What the hell? If I have Moonstone here instead of Apocalypse, if I have Dormammu here instead of Apocalypse, if I have literally any character, even a monstrosity here instead of Apocalypse, my Spider Weaver always goes first. We have seen this throughout the last month or since Kang was released. If you have Kang on the field and if you have Mirror Match, your team will always go first because Kang is on offense, because Kang allows your team to go first. And they went first, but then the Spider Weaver goes second. So what the hell is going on here? I have no idea. I, I honestly have no idea, but I think the passive from Apocalypse the passive that uh, that stops the Emma Frost from doing whatever she does, it's actually working for our our Emma Frost and not the enemy Emma Frost. I don't know what the hell is going on, but uh, there is this passive right here. This character speed and each of the Horseman allies only can reduce by slow. So I don't know if this is also affecting the highest damage characters, because if you guys remember, there is this ability right here that uh, Apocalypse buffs the Horseman characters plus the two characters with the highest damage. And Spider Weaver is also always going to be the highest damage character. So is there some kind of a bug that uh, this is also affecting the Spider Weaver with the, the Emma Frost passive or some bullshit like that? I have no idea what's going on. What I know is that uh, if you don't have Apocalypse on this team, this team will always go first. If you have Apocalypse on this team, your team, or at least the Spider Weaver, will always go second. What the hell is going on here? What the hell is going on here? Really, it's it's actually unbelievable, and uh, and I don't know what to, what to think or what to say. There are people out there. There are some envoys and some bullshit like that that are shilling for Apocalypse. Apocalypse, best character ever. Blah blah blah. Oh, he's he's amazing on offense. What offense? Like uh, the video is not continuing because I was like I was so confused. This was my first match with this strategy, and I was like so confused. Like, what the hell is going on? Why did my Spider Weaver went second? 
I have Kang, they don't have Kang or Cable or anything like that. So why did it went second? And then uh, the ability block from uh, uh, Apocalypse is not unavoidable, so it's not gonna land. He has trash focus, so it's not gonna land anyway. Even if it was unavoidable, it would not land anyway. And I just get baffled that uh, this is such an outdated character. And uh, it seems like his kit was made for like last year. And uh, no one tested him out. No one tested him out. Okay, so Apocalypse getting the stun in the face. He does the counter attack, which is nice. Now you can see, you saw there, the counter attack. He actually counter attack against Spider Weaver, which is also what Red Hawk should do. But it doesn't do. And you can see right here another problem that, uh, yes, it's true that he gives himself a safeguard and so on for one turn, one turn only. But because the safeguard ends at uh, the beginning of the turn, that means all these positive effects are going to be flipped by Dormammu. So it's not helping you at all. It's actually being a, a problem for you because whenever you use his special, you are going to get disrupt defense down and all those things next turn. It's beyond trash. So this is another point. This is already the third point. First off, he turns off the passive of Red Hulk. Second point, he messes up with the speed of your own team. Third off, when you do the special and you give him immunity, you are actually giving yourself defense down and disrupt on the next turn. So, as you can see, Apocalypse is such a great character, and I'm so glad that there are content creators out there, envoys even, even envoys, that instead of being honest, instead of giving a scientific opinion, they just do what's better for their wallet, and they just chill for, for Scopely, like, Apocalypse doesn't have any problems, best character ever on offense. Offense where? In not, definitely not in arena. Definitely not in arena. Otherwise, how can you explain this? I, I cannot explain it, apart from the character is completely bugged out, and he messes up with other characters as well. And you can see it right here, that he's just getting destroyed. And uh, look at that. Okay, there you go. So. What else can you say? You are shilling for this one year long journey requiring not only gear T17 gear but also Isolate Blue level 4 and Isolate Blue level 5 and you are shilling for this? Like bro, be honest, be... <sighs> Do you have zero integrity? What the fuck are you talking about? Like stop shilling, it's embarrassing. It's really embarrassing that you are gaslighting to your audience and to anyone that uh, plays this game. Okay, let's take a look at uh, the same match, but uh, di against a different opponent. Maybe it was just uh, uh, that one-time bug, uh, maybe it actually works properly or something like that. So we're going to take a look once again at uh, the situation and see that, uh, uh, yeah, maybe it was just that one-time bug or something like that. So you saw there, you saw there the turn meter from Kang, that extra 50 in light blue, that's turn meter. And there we go. So we apply slow and defense down to all the enemies. Nothing got resisted. Apocalypse, of course, already has disrupt defense down and uh, and slow. And of course, of course, did you saw? My Spider Weaver was stunned by their Spider Weaver. Because Apocalypse was here. This never happens with Moonstone. This never happens with Red Hulk. This never happens with your mama. Never happens except when Apocalypse is here. So are you telling me that there is zero problems with this character? Come on bro, like stop shilling. Once again, this is another match. Before we were facing Big Sparta, now we are facing Ishigus or Ishigus or whatever. Uh, and uh, for me, it's really something that uh, is beyond uh, uh, what I believe in, in life. This kind of nonsense, this kind of shilling, the lying, lying to thousands of people just to to gaslight and so on. It's really something that uh, doesn't match with my, my personality, but this is what we have. Then we have uh, Dormammu with a stun. As you can see, Apocalypse did counterattack, something that Red Hulk doesn't do. And now we have Kang with his ultimate. Of course, he's not doing any damage because uh, their Spider Weaver went first, their Dormammu went first, and so on. Because not even my Emma Frost had a turn yet. Not even my Emma Frost ever turn yet. Maybe she was turning one and so on. And then the damage from Apocalypse is just so ridiculous. It's just so ridiculous. It's so pathetic. And, uh, and that's it.
there are more safeguards on the enemy team than there are on the safeguards on uh, on the apocalypse team. And the apocalypse is supposed to stop the safeguards. He's supposed to stop the safeguards. He doesn't stop anything. He literally doesn't stop anything. Yay! He killed someone with his ultimate or with his basic, with the, with his empowered basic. It's it's pathetic. It's embarrassing. And uh, the fact that there are people chilling out for this is is literally unbelievable. We have one Spider Weaver and Emma Frost versus Apocalypse and Spider Weaver, and uh, we cannot beat them. We cannot beat them. Supposedly, Apocalypse is not influenced by Emma Frost. He can do shit to her. He can do shit to her. What's the point? Who cares if uh, if the slow is not affecting or not? It seems that he's actually not doing anything. It seems that he's actually not doing anything at all. It's embarrassing. It's literally embarrassing. It's li look at this. Spider, my spider river dead, and and uh, apocalypse by himself. He cannot even finish off uh, that uh, that uh, Emma Frost. It's it's just so embarrassing. It's actually unbelievable. Okay, I just want to show you another match. This time we are going to change things around. We're gonna try to pair up some horseman characters plus some additional characters and see if somehow we can actually have a better experience. We'll see if that's gonna be the case or not. So we're gonna take Dormammu, we're gonna take Red Hulk, we're gonna take uh, Emma Frost and we're gonna take uh, Morgan of Fay. Now, why am I pairing up uh, Dormammu with uh, Apocalypse because it says it says on Apocalypse Kit this character cannot be revived. This character cannot be revived. What's that? What's that? So he cannot be revived, but he can gain a revive once. Okay, that's already interesting. That's already interesting. So once again, the kit is not matching with the abilities. Once again, their team goes super, super fast. At least I resisted the slow this time, but I didn't resist the uh, disrupt. Once again, we failed the ability block because what's the point? Why would Apocalypse have unavoidable ability block? Then we have Dormammu doing his things. Red Hulk is charging up. Look at Red Hulk. He only has two charges. Shouldn't he have like three charges or four charges already? So he just got the third charge. Okay, cool. He's not doing any counter attacks. Something we mentioned before, he's not doing any counter attacks. So let's give speed up to Apocalypse and, uh, and to Red Hulk now. Of course, Red Hulk is full of disrupts and things like that because why not? We were able to clear two revive once from the enemy supposedly and now Red Redhawk is pretty much charged off let's see if he's going to counter Spider Weaver or not okay here we go Spider Weaver with a special oh oh where is the counter where is the counter no counters so Apocalypse countered but Red Redhawk didn't counter the ultimate with Dormammu cannot be countered so that's fine let's see if we can get some basic attack on um, on Red Hulk and get some counter. So we have another stun from Spider Weaver, but of course the stun was so big that he was not even able to revive. Even that the animations bugged out. It was incredible. And uh, oh, where is the counter? Where, where, where are the counters? Where are the counters for Red Hulk? So as I said before, the Apocalypse passive is definitely messing up with Red Hulk and is making Red Hulk more of a trash character than he was before. Red Hulk is actually better without Apocalypse than he is with Apocalypse, which is just uh, embarrassing. This is just embarrassing beyond belief. Okay guys, so that's going to be the first video on Apocalypse. Like I said before, I'm not going to shield for this character. I, I don't think there is any point on me doing that. And uh, if there are other people out there shilling, if there are other people out there trying to gaslight you about this absolutely failure of uh, a release character of a one year journey, it's up to you to decide what to do or what to think about them. But like I said, it doesn't match us with my philosophy on life, so I'm definitely not going to do that. If the character was actually good, 
I would promote him as much as I can, the same way I did with Kang, the same way I did with Spider River, the same way I did with Moonstone, but like I said, it's not the case for Apocalypse. And in this video, as you guys saw, we saw four different types of bugs. We saw the problem with the Red Hulk that is not able to counter attack. We saw the problem that Apocalypse is messing up with the speed of our characters. And uh, the different situations with his basic and with his passive and with his special ability that instead of bringing benefits to your team, it actually compromises your team and makes you to lose faster than it would be otherwise. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you smash that like button, like a boss. And like I said before, make sure you check out the channel in case I upload uh, some video outside of the normal schedule. And if you found the video informational, make sure you share it with your friends on Facebook and Discord. If you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe for more Marvel Strike Force content. Always honest opinions. Always blunt, but honest opinions. And uh, I will catch you guys later. Take care.